Welcome to the second episode of the Lockdown Plant Journal Drawing Techniques. This time we're going to be thinking about colour and the way that we can put different colours together to create exciting pictures. So just see what you've got lying around the house. I've got uh, lots of different um, pens here. Some of them are really nice Oscar pens illustrations, sorts of pens, some of them are just pencils, some of them are old felt pens that have just been around and I don't even know where they came from. Test the pens out on a piece of paper. You can see what colours you've got then and what's working and what's not. I really like um, complementary colours which are the ones that tend to be opposite each other on the colour wheel so purple and yellow, blue and orange um, I'm a big fan of pink and green together in a painting This week we're going to try and find ourselves a plant that is bursting out for spring You might have a pot plant like this, aloe vera hopefully in better condition than my one you might be able to see a tree out of your window if you're in lockdown. Uh, you might be able to take a photograph of something bursting out of the pavement on your daily exercise. Get right up close to your plant and just have very carefully, especially if it's a nettle, which could sting. See what the shape of the leaf is. See what the lines in the leaf are doing. Have a look at the stem. I've chosen a green felt pen, a yellow pencil, and a pink Sharpie, because I like these two colours together. I'm going to start by drawing the outline of the plant. We're going to fill in all the everything within the lines that you have made. So now I'm just looking at the leaf and at the lines on the leaf and the patterns. I don't know what they're called, the technical name for them. And I'm going to try and reproduce those on here. But instead of being really exact, I'm going to just sort of kind of follow the, the direction. But with lots of little marks. Just to sort of, just more sort of like... You know, dots. <laughs> and uh, last time I talked about having thinner and thicker lines, and that's something that will work really well in this picture. It's just having some lines that are thinner, some lines where you really try and thicken up the edges or the shadow or whatever. Now I'm going to have a think about what sort of noise a nettle bursting through the pavement or whatever this is uh, would make. And um, here to uh, help me is my trusty turkey. What noise would it make? What noise would a nettle make? It's very hot today, so he's panting. What noise would it make? Would it make a <laughs> No, I don't think it would. I think it would make a sort of like a ping or a crack, like in a comic, if you were looking for a noise in a comic, I think a nettle would make it, or a whip, or a sting, sting, do you reckon, sting? So I'm gonna write, got this. Oh, I've changed my mind now, crack, Never mind.
And then with my final colour, if you think about it bursting out like that, the shape of your hand, bing, sting. Try and follow. Follow the shape of your hand as it bursts out. It's just lots of little marks like that. And then follow those marks. Following those marks, just colour in, colour in the rest of the picture.